What's up everybody, it's Will and Chris from The High Five with a major, major announcement. Knuckles Up 2, we're kicking off the new year right, January 6, 2024, we are super, super excited about it. We just want to take a moment to say thank you, give us, uh, give you guys our thoughts about what happened at the event, but especially just say a big thank you. Yeah, and again, like really our whole brand right is we're for the people by the people so we've been seeing all the comments everything that you guys have been putting across social media and even in person it was really great to see all the people that we compete with and the guys that you know we go to your tournaments and now finally you're you're coming to something that we host on a grand scale and everyone seemed to really enjoy it um again we really do appreciate that at times when things are going bad you guys were there to still say hey you know it's their first one and they'll mm -hmm. make the improvements and you're 100 percent right we've already started in the background working on taking all those notes in and getting all that information and processing it so that uh going forward we can make it better and better each time don't worry the hum will be gone <laughs> no um also yeah. let me take a moment just to thank um, Sandell Sound, yeah. the Doubletree Hotel, mm -hmm. all of our sponsors, Wolfpack Bags, Paul Italia, New Age Mouth Guards, the Powerlifting Chiropractor with his BPC 157. Am I missing anybody? Uh, no, I think that might be it. I think that might be it. If I'm missing someone, I'm so sorry. Um, but yeah, guys, we are working on everything. And I know I'm going to say this a million times, but thank you. Mm -hmm. uh, thank you for sticking with us. You know, we, yeah. it was a tough road. For anybody who's been following along, you know all the hoops that we had to jump through, um, all the boxes we had to jump over. But we're here, as I said a million times, mm -hmm. and we're here to stay. Um, you know, honestly, I think it'd be cool. I want to just run through the matches a little bit. Um, you know, we can leave mine, you know, onto the side. You know, <laughs> obviously, you know, it was. It speaks for itself. Okay, know, okay. It was <laughs> no, but it was a great match, uh, Leroy. Thank you for taking it. Um, but right after that, Paul Cruz. BJ yeah. Fakakis. Yep, the human curse word. Yeah, it, yeah. It insane. Coined his new uh, name. Epic match. Uh, again, we have Paul Cruz that was new to this mainly super match format. Yeah, big time. And, yeah, being on the stage for the first time, and then you had BJ that had been on like you know the WAL stage and you know climbing his way and going up those rankings. It was really cool to see kind of one of our local heroes kind of go against somebody more on a national level. Yep. So congratulations to BJ. I know he's going to be doing big big things in the future. I know you got a match coming up. Mm -hmm. um, so good luck with that. Mm -hmm. And then the last one, which which is still funny because everyone is like, how could you give that match away? <laughs> um, Sveton yeah. versus Craig Tulier. Yep. Yeah. Absolute crazy match. Insane. I yeah. mean, the, one of the coolest things, and Chris can attest to this, is when we met Sotan, you know, um, yeah. he <laughs> takes his jacket off. Oh, my God. And the right arm looks like, you know, the arm of Zeus. <laughs> and the left arm is just this, like, he is, yeah. like, he is Devin before Devin was Devin. Yeah. Like, just built awesome. for arm wrestling. Yeah. Um, but absolute amazing match. Mm -hmm. Hats off to Craig Tulier. You know, they call him master for a reason. Yeah. Um, and it was it was an awesome match. That's all I can say about that yeah, one. It was phenomenal. Again, like, being one of the people that helped kind of put this all together, you kind of try to not have any of your favorites. Um, you know, you see Craig walk in, and he's, like, chiseled out of stone. <laughs> and, you know, it's like, how the hell is a guy like Set Vaughn going to beat him? And then you realize that, you know, from the technicality that he has and, you know, the years he has in yeah. the sport beating – you know, legends that we all see are going to compete in the next few days. It, it is kind of ridiculous. Um, and yeah, I mean, I, I was, uh, I had that same experience. I, I remember we were going, I think lunch and uh, he takes his left arm first and I'm like, oh, you know, may maybe I got a shot, you know, if I get on a side table, it looks kind of human. He takes his right <laughs> arm out and I'm like, what in the world? Look, you threw a 198 arm on that and it was, it was insane. Uh, yeah, it was but crazy. Yeah, but really couldn't speak more to how awesome it was uh, to meet them and how professional they were. They yeah, were, like, it's, again, it's, it's super cool for us because, uh, guys, as I had mentioned so many times in the lead for this, like, so Chris is my coach. Um, I've been arm wrestling now for just about two years, yep. right? Um, I arm wrestled back when I was in high school, like just for fun against, you know, the classes and all that type of stuff. And mm -hmm. I never took it seriously. Um, it just goes to show you, like, when you're around good people, mm -hmm. you can develop quickly, um, not just as an athlete, but as a fan of the sport. You learn all this stuff, and then, you know, you get to just be a part of it, which is super special to me. I know it's, you know, you've been in it for, what, seven, eight years now? Yeah, about, yeah. You know, and so it's super cool. I think that's the... The, probably the most attractive thing about arm wrestling when you when you get into the community is like everyone's there to help you. 
Um, so thank you guys. Like I'll say it, like I said, I'll say it a million times. You know, trusting in us, buying those pay per views. You know, we had a few thousand pay per views, which was absolutely awesome. And um, it really goes to show that when you get the community behind you, mm -hmm. um, it can be amazing. And like, I'm still shocked every time I open up YouTube and there's like, there's another 5,000 views. And it's like, <laughs> yeah. it's totally crazy, you yeah, know? Yeah. But so here, so mm -hmm. I started off with the YouTube, yep. the pay-per-view. Yes. Yeah, so match number one. Again, wild match. We have another local hero with uh, Jason Merlot against Nicholas Nanastata. The a fine one. <laughs> yeah. oh, against a legend in armoires, right? And a guy that's been, you know, crushing it on an international level uh, for many years now yeah that was again um a shocker not because you know obviously a good friend of mine had won but just because like how dominant the performance mm. was you know we hadn't seen he Jason. was a stone cold kill yes like on again a, a guy that we know is also very very strong um and you know talking to them afterwards right like there's a, a bright future for Molo and um, again, Nanastad was amazing afterwards talking to him and uh, we, we'd love to have both of them back. Yeah, absolutely crazy. Uh, and then next up we had the left hand match, right? Yep. With, mm -hmm. with uh, Ryan Espy and Pablo. Mm -hmm. um, first of all, Pablo. Ugh. Tank of a man. Literally. Guy is huge. Mm -hmm. And but then the only person that could make him look small <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> is is Ryan yeah. uh, uh Ryan Espy. Yeah. Um shout out to both of those guys. Mm -hmm. Total class acts. Yeah. I mean class acts to everyone around the off the whole board, mm -hmm. but two guys that really um went to battle for us, mm -hmm. just explaining with all the issues we had to really you know, rattle the troops and tell these athletes that this is something um, that you should do. And we hope that we, you know, we made it special for them. And from what we've heard, we have. Um, but what a match, you know. I think it was tough. If we're going to break things down, Chris, mm -hmm. you know, I think Ryan is just used to that little bit of an extra padding. Because yep. his last big super matches were in mm -hmm. WAL. Yep, yep. So, um... I know that's not something we're going to implement, but I think if he just starts practicing, mm -hmm. just maintaining in that that pad, it'll make a big difference. Yeah. Uh, because you could tell the horsepower is there, but like, where's the horsepower against yeah. the guy who makes the horses? <laughs> like, yeah. And like, I think also a testament to the last minute adjustment for both pullers, right? Yeah. You know, Ryan had thought for a while that Wagner was going to be his opponent, and then that's right. Last second, he ends up pulling Pablo again. A testament to Pablo's tenacity to not turn Ooh, down. Keep a talking. Keep anyone. talking. Um, he jumps in and he's pulling um, Ryan and he's like, yeah, I'll take two matches in one day. You know, like it's just another uh, walk in the park. But, <laughs> you know, and just so just so people don't think that we're crazy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I have the proof right here. This is a this is a one of a kind <laughs> Wagner Bordelotto knuckles up jersey. Yes. That's it's just going to get framed and go on my wall because, <laughs> you know, I'm a huge fan of Wagner. And Wagner, mm -hmm. if you're listening, we still want to have you on a card. Mm -hmm. We bolted the table down with extra <laughs> screws just in case. Yep. Um, but, yeah, no, it was absolutely awesome. What a killer match. And, and props to both those guys for just, yep. you know, making the adjustments and taking the changes. Mm -hmm. But next up. Yep, then we had uh, Chance. Saban yep. and Chance. Chance. Yeah. Saban and Chance. I think that was probably the match that... Everyone that thought was gonna was gonna go one way and yeah. went absolutely the other way. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, um, Chance, young guy, you know, really just taking names, you know, mm -hmm. in the sport. And um, with that low-handed position that he was talking to me about, he really just puts you in an uncomfortable place. Mm -hmm. um, I think Saban just didn't know what hit him. Yeah, yeah. I think he was expecting something else. Yeah, completely agree. I, I think also with uh, Chance, you kind of have those peaks and valleys in his uh, uh, super match kind of career that you're seeing. But again, this is just another tick on the, on the checklist that really proves that this guy is a rising star, if not already a star um, and very formidable. And again, you know, he has his matches coming up. You know, best of luck on that. And I know uh, he's going to do great. Yep. And then a star is born. <laughs> um, let me, let, let me start over. Yeah. Dave Chafee, I love you. Oh. Uh, you're absolutely amazing. Mm -hmm. And I'm, and I'm sorry that, that it went this way yeah. as a fan. Genuinely. Um, yeah. but I have to give mega props, mm -hmm. um, for any of you guys who don't understand in the background, mm -hmm. um, we had been working on Jordan Sanev, mm -hmm. um, for months. Yeah. Um, and unfortunately, you know, just the way the world is right now, visa issues, yeah. um, we just couldn't get him here. Mm -hmm. And literally it was either it was between a week to like 11 days yeah. before the the event 
Camille just said, yeah, I got it. I'll, I'll take it. Mm -hmm. You know, and what a class act. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm not putting any of the other athletes down, but you guys are just stepping for game. This guy, he brought us <laughs> chocolates. <laughs> Yeah. From from other countries, <laughs> and I ate them. Yeah, yeah. And so did he. Yeah. And they're absolutely awesome. Yeah. Um, no, but in all seriousness, um, <laughs> just just talk about that match. I mean, what a matchup! Like Dave, obviously, we, we know he's a little bit injured, um, and we wish you the best in your recovery um, because everyone wants to see more of Easy Money. I don't think mm -hmm. I don't think the road is done. No, definitely a lot more in the tank there. Yeah, and I think especially with Camille, right, um, talking to him, kind of the stars just aligned with his prep. Um, and obviously he couldn't have prepped much for Dave, but in general for his overall training. Um, but I think a lot of it too was just that like ready mentality of like, no matter what comes my way, I'm ready to go. Um, and it seems like it, he's ready for the main stage and he's uh, he's taken off like, yeah. you know, wildfire and he's going to be in other places. So um, we couldn't be more honored to be the opportunity for him to get that first chance. Yeah, to, for him to to him to shine and yeah. and show the world what he's got. Honestly, it's a it's a wicked hook that he's got. Yeah. yeah. Because if you think about it, his his so any of you guys, if you have met, um, why am I blanking? Camille, Camille thank yeah, you. Yeah. Sorry. Oh. Uh, if you if you if you've met Sorry. Camille in person, he's not like he's tall. Yeah. But his arms are so long. Yeah. Apex. And his yeah. his his leverage is just massive. So when he comes down, the fact that he's not a flop wrist presser, because you know, he, I think he got into a little bit of a, mm -hmm. of a dead wrist press, not mm -hmm. like fully mm -hmm. right when he was facing Dave, but the like, so essentially what I'm getting at is it wasn't like sometimes you can see, uh, for example, with Jerry, mm -hmm. um, he will just, he will commit to losing the wrist mm -hmm. and the hand to just get his press forward. Mm -hmm. Camille is actively pulling that forward the entire time. Mm -hmm. And to be at such a, like, uh, in terms of like two towers facing each other, like being up like this, it's, it's amazing. You know, I didn't get to pull with him in the after pull. I really wish I had just to feel it. Mm -hmm. But I mean, I know I had, I had, <laughs> I had nothing for it. Yeah. Um, but yeah, crazy, crazy match. Mm -hmm. Um, and I think that was, once again, like, if you look at the card, mm -hmm. and guys, if you haven't already, please, yeah. first of all, like, comment, subscribe, yeah. and, <laughs> and go, and, and plug, yeah. yeah, shameless plug, and go and check out all of the videos um, from uh, the event. They're absolutely crazy. They're all up on YouTube, mm -hmm. and there might be a secret match. I don't know. I don't know that nobody knows about <laughs> that's going to come out in the next two days, there, you too. Seen if it. you were there, you'd know about it. But mm -hmm. just another little little tidbit from us mm -hmm. uh, that we're giving out. But yeah, it seemed like the whole night, Chris, yeah. like it was like we start off with an absolute amazing match. Mm -hmm. just, just, <laughs> it was just all right. a dominant <laughs> performance. Yeah, it was very impressive. Uh, no, just, yeah. and, uh, no, I'm not kidding. It was amazing. <laughs> um, and, and we just moved on. And it was just, it got better and mm -hmm. better and better. And, and once again, I'm going to say thank you again for hanging with us. Because, look, we know we had the technical yeah, issues. For sure. um, but, hey, I'm just going to say it. The live stream didn't go down. Very true. So that is a win. <laughs> we will take what we, we can get. We will take what we get. The live stream never went down. And throughout the night, all the little bells and whistles that we had planned yeah. really started coming out. But as I was saying, every match just got better and better and better. And then to finish the night. Yeah. Well, actually, yeah. And I was just going to say, before we move on to that, just the... The way you saw kind of the progression of the night, not only yeah. from a match standpoint, but even from a production standpoint, you could kind of tell, like, if you give us the time and you mm. give us the opportunity to make these improvements, which we are working on in yes. the background, you can see where we started and where we ended. And it looked like a completely different show. A hundred percent. A hundred percent. Which, uh, yeah, again, obviously led up to the biggest match of the night <sighs> between Marcia Barboza and, <laughs> yeah, and Pablo, which... Again, you, on paper, you see the matchup and you know the history, but to actually see, like, there's no way you could have seen that coming. No. Like, it was like fireworks on stage. Yeah, it, it, it was, was absolutely crazy. You know, um, we're very fortunate that Marcio mm -hmm. does not live far from us. And, mm -hmm. you know, Chris has trained with him for years. Mm -hmm. um, I've gotten the, the pleasure of knowing him and, and being able to train a little bit with him. And the guy is a brick wall. Yeah. Um, but, you know, he was dealing with some, some injuries yeah. that I think that's kind of what what played him in, in some of their previous ma uh, matchups. Mm -hmm. um, also, it's tournament style yep. versus super match style. And mm -hmm. as we know, Martial thrives mm -hmm. in a super match style. Not that Pablo doesn't, yeah, yeah. Um, but it was it was so great to see. Mm -hmm. um, and come on, like, when, give me, here, when you see a climb and then, <laughs> <gasps> yeah, but that, can't the can't open. The can't like like what a way yeah, to end the wild. night yeah. up on the table. Yep. 
Yeah. Like, I mean, for us, you know, mm -hmm. for all of us here, you know, all of us on the team and everyone, it was, it was something special. Yeah. You know, honestly, yeah. Like seeing his family there, you know, again, we've been a family friend for a while. It, it was cool that all his friends were able to support him. Uh, and it, it's kind of like a testament to why we, uh, we really love the opportunity to bring this to North America sure. and this side of the world, because sometimes you're kind of limited. So having that kind of change of pace is huge. Um, yeah. and again, that's why, uh, also, our format isn't necessarily trying to divide in any way. So, you know, we'd love to have for the next one more, right. you know, people from overseas pulling other people from overseas, or you have more Americans pulling other Americans um, or other people from North America. So, uh, yeah, again, it, I think it, it the proof <laughs> is in the pudding that the formula is working. I yeah, think, uh, yeah. you know, we're going to keep making those improvements. But yeah. yeah, it's it's really been a crazy ride up until now. Uh, speaking to what Will was saying earlier with uh, the difficulties we faced in the prep, um, yeah, there's so much happening in the background, guys, <laughs> that, like, again, it's not worth it to go into because it's part of those growing pains. Um, yeah. but yeah, thank you again for sticking with us. Um, you know, again, there's people that we saw, um, that we had never met before out in Sweden or over in the UK or in Australia that already came immediately straight into arms to like say, Hey, no, we should support these guys. You know, they had no and reason they had no to idea. And they never knew who we were. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty amazing. Yeah, it really is awesome. It speaks to the community, in, yeah. essentially. Mm -hmm. um, you know, like I said before, it, it's one of the few places mm -hmm. where you can, you know, you find a team, um, you start pulling, and all of a sudden you got, you know, 20 friends. But then, like, you're friends with a million people, you know, because they've, <laughs> they've all learned what it's like yeah. to arm wrestle. And, mm -hmm. you know, I, I've said this on some podcasts I've done before, but I think the world would just be a better place if someone you know, really red lines, yeah. you know, and learns what it's like to give your 100% all. Mm -hmm. It puts things in a different perspective. Mm -hmm. um, but to close things, guys, January 6th, 2024, knuckles up <laughs> to, we are going to be there. It's going to be yep. absolutely amazing. We're going to be back at the Doubletree Hotel yep. in Fort Lee, New Jersey. Mm -hmm. um, and we have some cool things playing, I'm just yes. saying. So we really, um, we really thank all the people, um, that came in person mm -hmm. uh, to the event, you know, that is something for, for me personally is, mm -hmm. is super important mm -hmm. because I want people to be able to experience, you know, mm -hmm. unfortunately, unless you, you know, you live in Turkey, you live in Dubai, it's, it's hard to, you know, feel like you're a part of the action. Mm -hmm. um, and that's what we have in bucket loads, you know, <laughs> Um, and we're even working on tweaks to make that even better. We're going to be adding different camera angles so that the cameraman isn't in the way. Mm -hmm. um, we're going to be adding, you know, we're going to have some new food available, yeah, you know, yeah. fix that <laughs> little issue that we yeah. had. There was drinks, so that yeah. was good. Mm -hmm. um, very important. Very important. Um, but just everything. We're going to try to improve the experience um, for the, the general mission, for the VIPs mm -hmm. and all that type of stuff because, you know, that's, it's really important. I know it's important to both of us, but yeah. for me especially, you know, I, I love being able to go to an event mm -hmm. and really feel like I'm part of it mm -hmm. um, because if you saw in our intro video, like, there was a massive crowd and they're just, they're cheering and going nuts. Mm -hmm. um, and the coolest thing for me is like in the audio, you can hear the crowd yeah. screaming yeah, yeah, and you yeah. don't get that at any other arm wrestling event. Yeah, honestly, you know, like yeah. you, you hear them screaming, they're into it. They're mm -hmm. cheering for their favorite athletes. Mm -hmm. um, is there anything else you want to say? Yeah. And I think that's the cool part, right? Is like, even though, cause I feel like, again, we're a huge uh, community that regardless of whether they are from the US or what, you're still going to support them. And like, you know, Camille had a huge crowd supporting him because, you know, obviously the, the crazy win there. Um, but yeah, I think, again, all the comments that you guys are making through social media, um, mm. good or bad. They help. Yeah, we're, we're genuinely listening to them. You know, I, I think sometimes people will hear stuff like that and be like, no, they're wrong. They don't know what they're talking about. But honestly, we really do understand that there's ways that we can improve. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, please keep telling us. We, we want to know um, because if you don't tell us, we're never going to know, right? Yeah. Um, and we want to make it better each time for you guys. For example, like, you know, even like Will was saying, so like the seating, you know, we're going to try to have a, a better seating for the family and friends section so they can support the athlete, but they won't take away from the people in the VIPs, you know, that little things that we see that are yeah. easily fixed. And, um, you know, there's a lot, even from the production standpoint, you know, speaking for um, Joe Sandell and his group, again, the amazing guys, um, you know, you, you saw the little hiccups, but 
you guys do not even know oh what goodness. we have in store. I know we're we're hyping <laughs> ourselves up and we're obviously biased here, but there's a lot that you know. We're gonna put the NFL to shame. <laughs> is all I'm saying. No, yeah. you, you, you might we're trying. Yeah, you might see some similarities across these huge sporting events. That um, again, it, it wouldn't be possible without them. And, and yep. we really do appreciate yep. um, them making those minor adjustments as we went on. Because again, it's they're learning just as we are. So. Mm, yeah. I forgot one of our sponsors. So let me re rethink our sponsors. I did forget one of our okay, sponsors. Yeah. Um, so once again, thank you to all of our so sponsors. Sandell Sound, the Double Tree Hotel. Francis, you're the man. Yeah. Um, uh, Paul Italia, Wolfpack Bags. We give them those sweet bags. New Age, um, the powerlifting chiropractor with his BPC-157. If you have any joint pain, hit him up on Instagram. Mm -hmm. And Signature Fitness um, for being one of our biggest sponsors. Mm -hmm. Thank you guys so much. We couldn't have done it without you and all of you guys at home. So, January yep. 6th, 2024. We'll see you there. Knuckles up too. We'll see you there. Peace.